right, we're going to begin with breaking overnight news. This half hour police investigating an officer involved shooting. They say began with a domestic dispute on the west side of Albuquerque. And now a man is recovering at the hospital. Four officers are on leave this morning. News 13 Sarah Yingling is live in the neighborhood where it happened or near the neighborhood, I should say, with the latest details. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Yeah, you can see there's still a heavy police presence out here this morning on scene, even though this happened last night. Now, police say they were called out to this neighborhood around 10 p.m. when they received a call from a woman saying that she was beaten up by her boyfriend. That woman warned police that that man was heavily intoxicated and armed with a firearm. Officers uh, created a plan um, and moved forward with, a, uh, with less lethal options as well as, as obviously lethal munitions to uh, to go and try to make contact with the male subject. When police got there, officers say they found the suspect in the street. Officers say they gave him multiple commands, but he didn't comply and made what APD calls a threat toward officers. Now, we don't know what that threat was at this time, but APD says officers were forced to open fire using both less lethal and lethal rounds. What happened in the moments during the gunfire is still being pieced together by police this morning. I don't know how many officers fired their, their weapons. Uh, the, the forensics aren't in on that. Uh, I can't tell you whether or not the, uh, the male subject fired at officers. I can tell you that a gun was found on scene next to the male suspect. Again, no word on how many shots were fired or if the man fired any shots at the officers. APD says they did recover a gun on the scene. Again, that man is in stable at the hospital this morning and those four officers involved in the shooting are on standard leave. Now officers are also looking into a statement that the suspect possibly made to either his girlfriend or the police about wanting to commit suicide by cop. Back to you. All right, thanks for the details, Sarah. Officers will likely be working on this case throughout the day to find out more information about the suspect. Right now, all they've released so far about him is that he's 32 years old.